Hello everybody, Jared Cobra here. I've uh, got a new game series I'm going to be doing today. Uh, it's not too obvious, it's Dark Souls 2. I uh, got this yesterday and played around a little bit with it. Didn't get very far. Ended up starting a new character because I uh, messed up some settings, so I thought I'd play this a little bit and see if this did well. So uh, I will be playing offline mode. Um, that could change though, so I kind of, I just kind of don't want to be disturbed. And if you're not sure how to do that on the PC version, it's through Steam, and you have to be in Steam offline mode in order to play in offline mode for the game. Uh, that's kind of weird because in the main menu there is the go online option. So I thought that was kind of silly that they allow you to go online from the menu but not offline so it's kind of weird so anyway i'm going to be playing a knight it's generally what i like to do all right first order of business is going to be to get the blacksmith his key so he can get to his tools This game does definitely look a lot better than the first one. It's definitely a lot more clearer looking on even on tw uh, 1280 by 720. And another one of those. I guess those replace the humanity. And uh, yeah, if it does look like I know what I'm doing a little bit, it's because I did play a little bit of this, like I've mentioned. So I kind of played to another with another character to get the key, because my previous character I broke his primary weapon, so I couldn't actually fight. grand start there. Probably should put that. Someone shooting arrows at me. Oh, there's a bonfire over there. <laughs> I did not notice that the other day. so I don't know why I did that. Oh, you got an item on you. Hey, throw a knife. And one thing I've definitely noticed that I don't like is they seem to be able to track you better when they shoot ranged weapons at you. It's kind of cheap. Get up. Eh, some souls. Um, I can activate it. Uh, yeah, I did not see this here the other day. lit. Uh, one of the complaints I heard about this game was that there's a lot of bonfires compared to the previous one. 
so progression seems a little too easy. That's what I heard. I'm even leaving behind wet footprints. Now's probably not the best time to stay locked on like that. Switch. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Once again, though, I don't think I can sell items, or at least not to anybody around here. Is there something over here? Nope. precarious ledges in this game. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. <laughs> Short sword. Wait. Sprint jump. I don't know, jumping seems a little smoother, too. Probably isn't, but it just feels like it. Okay, where do I go to get... yeah. Alrighty. And a throwing knife. I love how much I have to hurt myself in this game. Okay, the throwing knife will actually come in handy. In fact, I should probably equip that. Especially because I got a lot of them. I can really wreck some enemies with those. And yeah, that is actually a person there. They don't say anything, uh... The only thing they really need to do is to fight them, but currently, if I tried that, he'd one-shot me, so... <laughs> Always hate the mist transi transitions. I could go in that way, or... Oh! Parried ya! I wasn't even trying to do that, really. <laughs> oh. See? Always pays to break stuff. Um probably fight this guy without resorting to trickery. Ah. I'm gonna get a whole set of that. 
Not that I will ever want to use it, but <laughs> just saying. Okay, time for knife throwing. Eh. Nope. nope. Don't you run away. Oh, you little punk. Alright. Come deal with you the other way. stuff over here. Yeah. yeah. There's one of you, too. Let's see, I think that's... No, that's not it. What was it? Nope. I'm trying to remember what the block break was. careful with that. Don't know what that is. But, fortunately, there's a bonfire in here, and the key to the blacksmith is here. So... Oh, I could climb down that ladder. Did not even see that the first time. Eh, I don't like that yet. Okay, so I need the key to the blacksmith. It costs 1,000 souls. Uh, right. And that's lit now. Hmm. Now you can travel to bonfires you visited. So, that removes the need for that other item that you had to get in the first one to do that. Another nice feature is if you have more of one soul type, you can just use them all at once, rather than have to use them individually. Right then. Um, let's see. Yeah, resting at bonfires repairs your weapons automatically. But you still can break them, so you gotta be careful. I'll go talk to this guy. Oh, hello again. I need my helmet. Because, for some strange reason, they don't give you one with your starting armor. Let's see, it's hard leather. See, and this does... I don't know, it doesn't say, like, stat comparing or anything, really. Buy nine, that with 900. Yeah, see, I, I don't know... Thanks very much. I, I do. Yeah, yeah, go away. Could have just worn one of those, I suppose. You know it's a Japanese game because it has ridiculous plumage on my helmet. <laughs> or whatever that thing's called. 
And so yeah, that's supposed to be the falconer armor. And like I said, uh, when you pick the knight, they don't give you the helmet to start out with, which is kind of weird. Bearer of blah, blah, blah. Uh, I guess I should have some endurance, too. Yeah, because I am kind of running out. <laughs> so... Yeah, so what did I... Upgraded endurance and strength. Wave your feather over my head and just be done with it. Okay, and just a little tip since I didn't show it. This guy up here, who is pretty much the guy that sits around at the Firelink Shrine in the previous game, lets you join the Blue Sentinels Covenant, which is supposed to be very player-friendly and help with invasions and such. There's a Covenant over there, though, too, but I don't remember reading about what that one did, so I haven't joined it yet. Alright, I'm just going to travel back. Rather than fight my way through all those guys again. And unlike the previous game, if you. I think it's like 10 or 15 times or something like that. It will eventually stop respawning these guys. So that lets you clear out some areas or some stairs in here, I just noticed. Time to go take a peek. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I've been there before. Do -do -do -do. Finish you off. Uh... Probably should take out the guys down there because they will probably be a problem if I don't. But like any good tank, I'm going to draw them in here first. Can I just jump off? That'd be nice. Nope. <laughs> Come on, come get me. Don't throw fire bombs at me. Ah. A piece of me, you gotta come back up here. I can do that. then see oops oh that's right there was that ladder over here I think I'll check it out <laughs> oh okay this is definitely new Oh, hello. Didn't see you over there. And you're sleeping. Not for long! Okay. Moving on. Okay, there's a nasty looking critter down there. 
So best not to fall in there. And you're pretending to be dead. But I don't fall for that easy. It's locked. That mouse cursor every time a menu pops up is really annoying. This is probably locked too. Does not open from this side. Yeah, pretty much. So nothing down here for me. Just those two guys I could stab, I think. Oh wait, there's a door over here. And the light wall. I don't like light walls. And it's locked too. Another guy pretending to be dead. supposed to be impressed by that. Oh, hello. I may have the whole set of that now. I don't know yet. Don't mind me. I'm just climbing up this tree. Alright, and I think this will be a good place to stop here, so um, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, it'll help me out a lot, and I'll be doing this probably off and on for the next few weeks, or however long it takes to beat it, so anyway, until next time, this is Jericobra, see you soon.